Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of multiplying with area models. This is standard 4.4c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 which is a new item type called drag and drop of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a drag and drop. There's three different uh, blanks here or boxes here. And let's take a look at our drag and drop because sometimes drag and drops, uh, each number can be used for each one, right? So when I pull out that five notes, how all three become blue and then same with the 15. So it looks like each of these numbers that I see here can be used in each of these. And as you can see, I can use a number more than once. Right, And if I try to go on without completing all three boxes, they will give me that error message that says you need to make sure you answer everything. So this is a two-point problem. And if we want to get both points, we're going to need to get all three correct. If we only get two out of the three correct, we only get one point. And then if we get only one correct or zero correct, it's actually worth zero points. So we have an area model here, and they give us this equation, 23 times 15 equals 345. Now here's the interesting thing. They give us a little bit of a clue here because they give us that that 3. Okay. Now how do we know this is a 3? Well they give us the 3 but take a look. If we take a look at what they've got here they've got three columns right here and each of these columns are supposed to represent a 1 because they're super skinny. And so that is going to kind of help anchor us here because we've got this 23 times 15, right? Equals 345. We could do the math, but they went, ahead, they, they went ahead and gave this to us. So how do we represent this with an area model? Well, what we do is we break up each of these factors, right? So each of these are called factors because these are the numbers that you multiply together to make a product, which is our answer to a multiplication problem. All right, so we're going to take each of these factors and we are going to split them up by place value. So let's take a look at our 23, okay? So our 23 is going to be 20, because there's two in the tens place, right? Plus three. All right, that's pretty simple. Same with our 15, right? What is that one in the tens place worth? Well, that's a 10, and then that's a plus five. So what we end up doing is we draw pictures like this because we can end up uh, multiplying by that. Now, here's the thing. Where does that 20 plus three go? Well, if I'm knowing that I've got a 3 right there, then this has got to be a 20, because it's supposed to be a 20 plus 3. How does this represent a 20? Well, they don't keep it all together. They actually break this 20 up into a 10 and a 10. Okay, so this 10 right here is like 10 of these little tiny blocks together, okay? So then if this is a 10, this is already a 10, right? And how many rows do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's your 10 plus 5. Now, how does this actually work for multiplying area? Well, right, if we wanted to, we could multiply, and I'm going to break this up in the two smaller ones, 10 and 10, right? Into a whole bunch of partial products, right? So 10 times 10 is actually going to make 100. That 10 times 5 is going to make 50. That's another 100. That's another 50. I've got a 3 times my 10. That makes 30. And I've got a 3 times 5. That makes 15. As you can count, you've got 15 blocks. You put them all together, 100, 100, 30, 50, 50, 15. It's a lot of adding. You're going to end up getting 345. So that's going to be our answer. We're going to put a 20, a 10, and a five. 